Yeah. How, how does it play started? had a common message with yeah, each other. There's always like that thing and okay, it is the message, this is what we're trying to push out, this is mm. the mentality we're trying to push out. Mm. You know, that's like a BGM, it's about the legacy, their legacy, mm. translating their legacy from the, from the older generation to the new generation. Yeah. Mm. But also keeping in mind that they worked their ass off mm. for 60 years mm. to be to be who they are. Mm. Yeah. Kalau buka like a Bakmi restaurant, they always look at Bakmi GM as a as a standard, right? Mm-hmm. And I always I always admire that. And that being a product that we grew up on, mm. you know, like um, it was so random. Like we we were just like I don't know how it came to be, but then we're like we never expected them to say yes, let's do it, mm. you know. But when they said yeah, let's do this, you know, and then I showed them uh, some ideas of what we had, mm. and then one meeting. I, 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 I jokingly asked, can you just bring some archives? Mm. You know, they brought the archives and then next thing you know it, they show me all these beautiful photos, a poster, all the thing from the past. Mm. And that's why I told Oja, I was like looking at Oja, I was like, dude, all this would look fantastic on gear, mm. you know? And that's where we came up with the idea to tell. I was like, you know what? We're gonna take the turn a little bit. This collaboration is not about us, it's about you guys. Mm. I think you, we need to retell your story, mm. you know? And that's where they were like, really? I was like, dude, your audience is getting a lot younger, you know what I mean? Mm. Like, nobody knows. They think you're just a regular noodle shop. You gotta have to show them the, the foundation that you guys have built and the mentality and the family love that you guys have, right? Mm. And then they said, okay, we'll take your lead on this. Mm. And that's basically what we did, you know? So that was a message. Uh, yeah. The one with main source, it's, it's uh, what is it? Breaking the Odds. Breaking the Odds. A brand from Jakarta, ex a, a, a store from Norwich. It's mm-hmm. not even London. Yeah. Norwich <laughs> yeah. is a city with castles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when we landed there, I was telling OG, I was like, holy fuck, we are, and like, OG, they have castles here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, it was awesome, you know? And, but that was amazing because. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to Damon, by the way. Damon owns a store called Main Source, mm. and he really held it down for us. Like this dude, it's a small city, but he was able to talk to his followers about like us and mm. what we do, and etc. etc. Pas kita nyampe situ, the reason why we said breaking the odds was because it's a very odd collaboration. It's mm. very random, mm. you know what I mean? But we did it. Mm. When we ended up in 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 uh, in the UK and we went out to Norwich to do this, I was I told OJ, I like, how many people are going to show up? I'm not sure a lot of people will come to our event, mm-hmm. right? And you know, we got to Norwich, checked into the hotel, and I went across the store to a coffee shop, mm-hmm. and I see this one dude wearing an Asia's Galaxy T-shirt making coffee, mm-hmm. and that was the first thing where I was like. Nice shirt, you know? Mm. And the guy was like, you're the Asia's Galaxy guys. Mm. I'm coming to your party tonight. Ooh. And I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> okay. I'll see you there. <laughs> yeah. And then I walked out, I told OG, he's like, yo man, the guy was wearing our shirt, you know? And I was like, and then he was like, and then OG was like, yeah, all the way from Jakarta, you know? Like, <laughs> we had a lot of pride, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then again, it started raining. Mm. And then again, I was like, again, I was like, 
fuck man, I don't think people are gonna come out in like a hujan, whatever, whatever. Next thing you know it, I still, we went to the shop, OG, OG always comes late to the events. Mm -hmm. He likes to, you know, take long showers mm -hmm. and whatnot. <laughs> and then, um, so I went to the event because I want everything to be perfect uh -huh. and shit. And then uh -huh. next thing you know it, we shut the, sh uh, the store down, uh -huh. decorate the place. Uh -huh. Once we open it, the rain stopped. Uh -huh. And then there was a bunch of people outside, uh -huh. you know, waiting to come to this event. Uh -huh. And then I saw the power that Damon had with the store mm. and the neighborhood mm. and how he was the voice mm. of that city when it came to streetwear. Mm. And not only that, his staff, his girl, his dad, his dad who just kept rocking out all the sneakers that mm. he had. Like, I mean, it was such a cool family oriented like business. Mm -hmm. And we, me and OJ felt so comfortable over there because it was like the energy that we believed in, but somebody else was doing that in another city. You know what I mean? And that, that was basically where we were like, fuck, like these type of things started to lead us to like, we need to have something back in Jakarta mm, where, where we can do these types. So like, let's say if Main Source wanted to do in the next collaboration, we could do a two way collaboration now, mm, mm. one there and one here, you know? Cool. So now we have our platform, we can do anything we want in our store. Yeah. Right? And, and that's the main thing. We, every collab that we have is never translated the way we want it to be. Mm, you know, yeah. The message is not going to go out there. We want to ask them, they're homies and all this stuff. Mm. Okay, nah. yeah. Yeah. Or like we have to open in a bar yeah. or do yeah. something at like a... Yeah, like when we can post party event, we have to have a bar or something. I mean, this is amazing. It's great. Yeah. Everybody support it. Mm -hmm. You go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, so this one we decided, you know what? Let's have a space there. Oh, yeah. So we wanted a space to be like our canvas mm. and the canvas will be converted into a pop up mm. again and again mm. and again. And now you can see the real ageless galaxy yeah, of how we want to do it, you mm. know, because every time you come in here or it depends on what month it is, there's a different story that we're telling. It's like an art gallery, yeah. right? It's more like your platform. Yes. Yeah. 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 So you can do anything. You can freely express what you yes. is. And not only about. us, not only us, even people that we believe in. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say if somebody that we really care about wants to do an art show, we can use this space. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a book and you put all this love into it and we believe in your story, mm -hmm. you can launch the book here. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. this is the platform for the people that live the Ageless Galaxy mentality mm -hmm. without them knowing it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and that's why we made the space. It's like an open book now. And I mean, this is just the beginning. So slowly you're going to start seeing how everything unfolds, you know. Nice, nice. Talking about collaboration, yeah. as you mentioned before, I mean, like these days, there's so, I mean, like w even way too many collaborations. Yeah. There's some good collaborations. There's some sucks collaboration. Yeah. What is collaboration for you guys? I don't know, it's, it's two heads. Um, coming together, coming together mm -hmm. pushing for us, pushing a certain message, mm -hmm. or pushing a certain message. For yeah. me, is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then it's it's up on a minute. It's it's different for other people, for mm -hmm. for people people. Yeah. 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 Your logo, my logo. It's strategic yeah. for them to to get the name out there and to reach a better, a wider a audience. Wider audience of mm -hmm. us together. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. for us, it's always been like. Yeah, we like your vibe. Let's do something together. Yeah, it's always that. No, for us, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, it's never really like trying to to do it on a strategic way to get more exposure. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's always like we like the energy from them, mm -hmm. and we, we respect what they do, mm -hmm. and we want to elevate it. Yeah, it's always that. For us. Yeah. So, so for us, like a good collaboration is when there's storytelling involved. Yeah. Mm. Period. You know, if, if you and I come together and say, let's do something together, see products are products, yeah. right? They're just objects, yeah. right? But it only has value to it when there is a big story behind it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's the weight of that mentality, whatever exactly. that we develop, yeah. right? So I've always believed in that. And on me and OG, we always mm. look into that. Like at the end of the day, what are we saying? You know, everybody can make a t-shirt. Mm. Anybody sure. can make products, mm. right? But at the end of the day, it's that little piece of message and affection that you can make on somebody mm. that means most, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And that's basically what, what a collaboration, a good collaboration is. Yes, it helps if you're a designer, it helps if you are a great photographer, mm. it helps if you are, if you, are uh, you have a great production facility, mm. but that's all execution. 
Mm, you exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. But the main part is the context. Not even the content. It's the part inside the content, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. That's the part that matters most, you know? Exactly. And, and, and so if you ask me uh, about what is a collab, what's a good collaboration, I think that's what it is. Yeah. But like you see nowadays, there's a lot of those where it's just uh, somebody comes in and puts their brand name on it or whatever, just for hype, yeah. whatever, whatever. I agree. Which it's not wrong, yeah. you know, uh, but like it's, it could be that part of their strategy or yeah. whatever. And uh, so, yeah, at the end of the day, there's, there's no right way to do it. I guess it comes back to you, mm. you know, and what, what is your purpose? Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, the at purpose the is one of the most important things. Yeah. I guess, yeah. yeah. So it's like more like one plus one yes. equals three. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it, a, a good, a good collaboration have to have to build uh, another DNA yeah. here that, that infusing uh, those uh, brands. Still talking about the collaboration, what is the most fun collaboration project that you ever did? I mean, like, like uh, mostly uh, people do t-shirts, yeah. yeah? But but how I see Ashes Galaxy, it's not all about t-shirts. Probably you can do toys and yeah. something else. Even you releases the the, the bowl of From the. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What, what is what is the most fun collaboration that you did? Which was your favorite one? Uh, I don't know, like a lot of them is actually fun. I mean, it's collaboration, right? It's, it's, uh -huh. it's, yeah, we're here to have fun. We're like, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. we hang out, we raise our jet drinks, and we just hang out. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, oh, we should totally do this. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. And then like, all of a sudden, we have a thing, we're exploding, mm. and everything unveils. But, mm. but if you talk about like the most favorite mm. that we've ever done, mm. um, I love all the collaborate. I'm so proud of every collaboration drop, mm. but I think the most epic one that has challenged us as a squad mm. was when we invited uh, Burnt Ends from Singapore, mm. which is this top end Michelin restaurant, to come out and do a pop up in Jakarta for Mercedes Benz. Oh, okay. that was a project that we could not fuck up. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And shout out to Dave mm. and the team. Mm. Shout out to um, Sebastian mm -hmm. uh, from Taco Local because mm -hmm. he was Taco the chef Local, here yeah. on the ground who helped us understand the logistics of what needed to happen mm -hmm. and shout out to all our partners like of course Mercedes and Sukanda Jaya from Diamond and mm -hmm. all these guys mm -hmm. the reason why I say shout out to them was that was a mega collaboration yeah. you know we had Sukanda providing all the essentials for like um, what do you call it? The rationales and the, the cooking, you, all yeah. the all the things that we needed, right? The fact that Sukanda is one of the biggest yeah, uh, yeah. F and B company out there. And, yeah. and of course, this is Mercedes event, but mm. still, they were very. They let us lead the project. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. They were like, "You guys are in charge mm. of this. Execute it. We have your back." And we kept doing that, mm. you know. And then there was Burn Ends and the team. I kid you not, Dave was the last man standing at mm. that event. He was cooking, mm. he was the last dude mm. barbecuing and cooking for everybody. Mm. And it was epic. Like for, we had, we had uh, Benji fly out from, uh, from Bali mm. to help. We had all the chefs in town that just wanted to participate. It blew my mind. Mm. So if you talk about a collaboration, it was the power of what Burn Ends had as a mentality mm. of the standard of being a, a restaurant. Mm. The power of what Mercedes, Mer Mercedes stands for, where, where you talk about the best or nothing, mm. you know what I mean? And then you have a mentality of like whatever it takes, like us and our squad, mm. where we bring everybody in together mm. and somebody like Sukanda Jaya, which is a behemoth when it comes to cold storage products, mm. We all put our heads together. Mm. That was a beautiful collaboration. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. We didn't make clothes. You mm. know what I mean? We did. We came from a design perspective. We did a car. You know, mm. like uh, we had Dia and the rest of the team. We designed a, a really cool illustration for like uh, for the car, mm. and then the rest of it was, you know, Mercedes Benz X Burn Ends X Asia's Galaxy. Mm. Boom! It was mm. just like a fucking mental event that we threw down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so, if you ask me, that checked us on mm. so many levels mm. of what can you actually do as, yeah, yeah. as a as a creative yeah. or yeah. as a brand or whatever. You yeah, know, and yeah, yeah, yeah. it was stressful, and we have it all documented. <laughs> we have it all documented down. Oh, you know? Okay, okay. It's okay. on our YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, you can you can check yeah, it out. There. Yeah, oh, we'll check that. Yeah. Okay, for sure. And. Um, you did so many uh, collaboration, you did so many uh, uh, platform on it. What is your dream collaboration that you would do 
in the future if you have the chance like like what is i want i really want to do that with that brand what is what is your wish nike and you also yeah well like I'll, i know I'll, everybody I'm, I'm looking was, forward to that i know everybody says that huh? but you know like i always believe in when you envision something mm -hmm. things unfold and eventually mm -hmm. they do mm -hmm. so for example like um when we started asia's galaxy Bata was on my mood board, you know? Wow. And then you have Bata right here, right now. Like, Dalek was on my mood board. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, I always believe in this vibe of like, mm. you work to a point where you, you work to a level in life where mm. your mentors and mm. the people that inspire you become your homies. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. That's something that I take away from life. Mm. And so far, mm. you know? I never expected it in my life that a guy like Edson would like vibe out with us and hang out and get mm -hmm. drinks mm. and like, you know, we just do dumb shit and, mm. and then come back to it at the end of the day, we share similar mentalities, mm. you know? Mm. And you know, when we were, when we did Asia's Galaxy through the, through the, uh, what do you call it? Through the um, adventure of whatever we are going through, I always ask OG, are we doing it right? Mm. I don't know if we're doing it right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if this is the right way to do it mm. because I didn't go to business school. I didn't No, there's no book in life on how to fucking do how to live life. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's, it's try, fail and get up again. Try, fail, get, get up again. Yeah. And, and there was, there's no manual on how to run a business. Mm. Mm. You just have to figure it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, um, I mean, so business you can you can read about it. Yeah. Streetwear, I don't know. Yeah. That's the thing. You know? I mean, like how and, we want to run it. Like we don't know if we're doing it the right. Yeah. Way. And like when we met Edson, he, you know, aside from like, okay, cool, we're drinking, but then we ask him questions, and there's a lot of stories that he tell us, mm. and where we look at ourselves, we're like, we did that. Mm. We did that. We mm. did that. You know. This this shit is on the. His shit's on another yeah, side, yeah, yeah. but like, yeah. but, but we're in a similar frequency. Yeah. So that's where we understand that we are actually on the right path. Mm -hmm. We just got to keep doing it mm -hmm. and build your lane and stick in it and keep pushing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The same time when we met Jeff, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Jeff Staple, mm -hmm. right? The Puma event. Mm. Were you there? Yeah, yeah, I was there. You were there, yeah. right? So yeah, there's a photo of you getting a signature. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. You know? um, so even that, like when we dropped him back to the airport, mm. that one hour drive was my all my years of studying. Mm. Whatever I have done was more of like that one hour drive was the whole. How do I say? I was like most inspired by mm. ever because all the questions and conversations that we had in that one hour to the airport i would have never got that from school mm -hmm. if this came from the real og mm. from him hustling through the way to the top screen printing shirts mm. doing these collabs exactly remember that yeah, <laughs> yeah. like you know the story of like where he W he, he was standing in a bathroom and then you know he was trying to get a buyer you know like yeah. like this this is real real hustle pre instagram pre yeah. internet yeah you're hearing it from a real og mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and again like when we ask him these questions he's like an open book he talks and he tells you and that knowledge was so pure and and raw for mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. but we resonated with it because all we needed was to someone to tell us that you're on the right path. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like in our in our industry, we need a cosign. Yeah. Yeah. Like a cosign is so big. Yeah. And when somebody's saying like, yeah, these guys are all right, that's a big thing. Yeah. yeah. Just a little yeah. pat on the back. Yeah. These guys are okay. Yeah. It's a big thing. It yeah. levels you up, and it knows yeah. like I'm I'm on the right path. You know what I mean? And for us, we took all of that as blessing. You know. Nice. And and for us, that was the most important thing. I will never forget that car ride. That mm. Jeff was sitting in the back. Mm. Me, uh, Jeff, and Liz, his mm. wife, was sitting in the back, and me and OG were sitting there, and we were just talking about mm. how he became to where he was. Mm. You know. Okay. And then when we dropped into the airport, the silence in the car mm -hmm. of me and OG mm -hmm. on the way back was unreal because we <laughs> okay. were just reflecting mm -hmm. and we were like, I will never learn that in college. Yeah. I would have never learned that in exactly. anything. There's no way in hell I would have got that information. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And 
And then OG made a joke, but it's like, ha, we had Jeff Staples sitting in the back of our car. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like you had to break the air, like, like fuck, you know? But it was awesome, dude. Yeah. And, and that, made, that made our relationship with him like beautiful because when we were in LA, like he was the guy that, he was the only one we knew over there. So we, yeah. we read Agenda, we hit him up, and we're like, yo, let's meet up, boom, boom, boom. And, then, and it was cool. And we got to know him and we left it at that. You know what I mean? And that's it. Now he's like an affiliate of ours. We know who he is. He knows who we, we are. And, you know, who knows? We, we do something together in the future. We I'm never know. I'm looking forward to that, man. I'm looking forward to I'll yeah. be waiting for that day to come. <laughs> I'm like, I also, I also idolized him. And he was one of the, I can say, one of the most respected OGs yes, out there. Yes, all the time. You know, I listen to his podcast every morning when I run. The, 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 the high radio. Yeah, yeah. Like every So morning. do I. Every like one of, the most, one of the most listened to podcasts ever on the Spotify. Is this it's podcast. not even about the podcast. Have you heard? I'm, I think I'm fanning out on, on, on Jeff right now, but like huh? his voice is so, it's like, exactly. it's like a, he's like a, uh, like a guru. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, How come this kind of voice is so putting me in this Zen state? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's the perfect level and yeah. it gives you chills you know like, like exactly. you're like fuck uh, and, you know, and every time I finish with a podcast I would message OG OG I have a plan we're gonna do this we're gonna do that gonna, like it's automatically embedded into your brain of how we're gonna fucking maneuver yeah, yeah. and then he would doubt me uh, and then I'll play in the podcast listen <laughs> you know? and then be like okay okay alright cool 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 let's try this out you know yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that's what I'm saying yeah. like these type of people make such a big impact on yeah. what we do yeah and they become mentors in their own way, you know what I mean? Sure, and, yeah. and like, I, I just think it's amazing. And that's why I believe in that. Even the thing with Dalek, mm. I've always loved Dalek. Mm. Like, you know, I never expected him to respond to our email, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and, and next thing you know it, he's just an awesome dude. Like, mm -hmm. he's full of life. Mm -hmm. He's a family man. Mm -hmm. Like, I always, I was like, I was, every conversation we have with him, I was telling him, I really like this guy. Like mm. he just brings good energy. He mm. believes in his art. Mm. You know, he comes from the world of Shepard Fairey, mm. like Cause, and mm. you know all these like pop artists back in the day. Mm. He, he like he he was like did stuff with like Mike Giant mm. and things like that. These are all the people that I was inspired by as an mm. artist. Mm. Now to have a guy like that to have his stamp on our brand, that was like an honor. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never expected that, and you know it's one of. If you ask me, it was one of my, this is the first artist we've done a collab with, and now, there will be many more artists that we'll be yeah. introducing into the... It'll open your the, door, yeah. open many doors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and Dalek is, if you heard the last talk we did with him and you hear his story mm. of how he did, you know, like graffitis, mm. like how he, uh, yeah, he apprenticed for Murakami, you know, like th that's how he got all that, you know, the flat, the flat uh, style illustration and everything. And, I mean, he has so much knowledge, but it's all him bottled up into his studio where he just paints mm. and he does his thing. That's Ageless Galaxy for mm. us, yeah. you know? A guy just doing his thing and being so good at it, you know? Cool, and cool, and cool. yeah, I can't wait. Like I've told Dalek, like I wanna bring him out to Jakarta. I think we sure. need to bring Space Monkey to Indonesia. Mm. And you know, when COVID ends and stuff, you know, Hopefully, brighter things will come to Indonesia. When COVID ends, I'm looking forward to <laughs> so many stuff that you guys will do. Damn, we talk really a lot about uh, Asus Galaxy, and it's 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 very interesting. Ini kan sekarang sebetulnya banyak banget, ya banyak banget. I think for the past five years, the terms of streetwear itu bahkan di Jakarta tuh it's, it's out there. Yeah. People udah 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 mulai uh, acknowledge sama itu bahkan apa namanya? Uh, mungkin dulu orang bilangnya, "Oh, dulu orang kan dengan kata distro zaman dulu ya. Now it's streetwear." <laughs> yeah. yeah, now it's streetwear. Menurut lo sendiri uh, streetwear khususnya di Jakarta itu gimana? Aku gimana sih lo ngelihatnya skenanya di scene? I mean, we have come a long way, yeah. you know, for the whole idea of what uh, streetwear is, yeah. right? I've never really like looked at ourselves as a streetwear brand. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's for people to, to, to affiliate, yeah, 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 just yeah. to like label it like yeah, that, yeah, right? Just to label it. Yeah. Uh, but we're just a clothing company, you know? Mm -hmm. We're a clothing brand that spreads uh, positivity and mm -hmm. we do like art related stuff, whatever. But if you talk about Indonesia, I think we've come a long way. Like mm -hmm. the, the, the market has opened up to a point where, um, how do I say, like, the audience have come to accept mm. 
and they're open to like knowledge mm. and and they they can understand you know they have access to information yeah. Yeah. you know like if you talk about six years ago or something right mm. um if you talk about six years or seven years ago like all these like sneakers and all where it was not not available the way here yeah right exactly like, the sneaker the sneaker game just became a thing recently yeah right and now it's flooding like yeah. crazy like yeah. we just spoke about this mm -hmm. of how like so many collabs are coming down exactly and and it's nuts yeah. right so i mean if if you asked us to open the store like five years ago i i feel like jakarta was not ready for something like this mm. you know but I think Jakarta is now ready. And I think like, if you have a brand and you have a strong concept and where you're at, open a store, you know, mm. let it be your platform, but mm. do it right, mm. you know? And uh, again, mm. it's streetwear, right? Mm. That's why we didn't open in a mall. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying like, uh -huh. that was the one thing I always told you, I don't want to be in a mall because mm. we're not a mall brand, you know? Mm don't want to be in a mall brand. I'll give an exception to ODD mm -hmm. because they are talking to a mass market and yeah. they are trying to educate people on, on the mm -hmm. sneaker scene, right? Mm -hmm. It is about accessible. Yeah. Right? yeah. yeah. Accessibility. yeah. They want it to be accessible to everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's for accessibility, you could go to ODD, you could buy an Asian Galaxy shirt yeah. over there and buy some sneakers, right? But if you want to experience mm -hmm. the brand, you come to the store, yeah. you meet us, you meet the squad, yeah. you know, and ask us questions and yeah. get inspired. and and. And whatever, just make new friends. Yeah. You know what I mean? This, this, is a, this is a place for conversation. Exactly. This yeah. place is more like reflecting the true DNA of yes. what you're doing. Yeah. And the ODD and your stuff in ODD is more like, yeah, apparently, like uh, everyone is in this nation is, what, what can I say? A mall person. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I even uh, tell people, like, there's no such thing as. Streetwear in here, it's more like mall wear, you yeah. know? Like, That's what I'm people, trying to people, say. people dressing to go to the mall instead of the street, yeah. yeah. But, but since um, the brand is about, is about, uh, about probably you can, you can square it, square it as, a, as a streetwear brand, yeah. That you have to be, yeah, outside of the and, mall. And, uh, and that's why I said, and that's why I told OG, like, there's no way we're opening in a mall. We <laughs> fucking open. Yeah, I, mean, I don't want to do it. <laughs> Like yeah. with malls, there's mall rules. If we throw a party, we're gonna have to deal with the yeah, mall. There's so many limitations. Yeah, like right? fuck yeah. that shit, dude. Okay. You know, okay. here we can close when we want to close. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the party won't stop until you know we're tired. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like like we can do whatever we want, and yeah. and we strategically pick this location because it has a beautiful parking space mm. in the front. Mm. It's like quite big, mm. and um. Yeah, we just want it to look grand and, and mm. small but big at the mm. same time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are right at the edge of Kamang, which is a creative neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. And um, we, I mean, we've always been around Kamang. Like, for some reason, we cannot leave this, this fucking hood. Yeah, so this, are, this is the third time that we're moving. Mm. In Kamang. Yeah. In Kamang. Yeah, is that crazy? Yeah. Wow. So we start from the Casa thing, right? Uh -huh. And then we found a spot next to the tree house. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then we got kicked off by the fucking military. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that was a dumb story. <laughs> our father's spot, di Kamara Ya Juga, uh -huh. is on the third floor. Uh -huh. It was our office. It was our office. office, office yeah. yeah. And then we realized, like, Ate Tiga, Ga Ada Div. Kasian banget, man. All our squad. <laughs> No, we're like when all the goods used to come in, yeah. they have to carry it up and carry down three floors. <laughs> my office is on the third floor, by the way. <laughs> that's what I, what I felt every day. Like, yeah. 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 So, yeah, so then, then that's when we decided that, okay, we need to have a shop. Uh -huh. That's why the shop needs to be uh -huh. in the storefront kind of thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's why we want this space. I think it's always in Kamang. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Your heart is in Kamang. Yeah. 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 Okay. Actually, this is the first time we moved out of Kamang. We're on Bangka, but still, Kamang, <laughs> Kamang still. is like right there. <laughs> yeah. You can see McDonald's for <laughs> 50 meters is Kamang. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's still so many uh, people trying to trying to strive their brand, trying to uh, what show uh, people that they have a brand. Yeah. The the, the funny thing is that uh, we're talking already uh, of uh, of the of the lens. Yeah. That that. Uh, a cosign yeah. uh, uh, from someone who's already in the industry is yeah. also important. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, you told me that you're working in the agenda without and with Jeff Staples. It's, it's a different. It's vibe. different. Yeah, it's different. Um, so, 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 how can one get a cosign 
from the others, from the elders, from the from the mentors. Yeah, because um, in this business, it's kind of important. What what how 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 do you how do you tell them that uh, how, how how to do it yeah. properly? Okay. Well, I don't know. How I see it is this, right? I mean, one is that you're gonna be just genuine, mm. right? You just gotta be, be real, mm. be, be be a very nice person, mm. and be able to again. I miss. Yeah, kindness like attracts mm. people and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Be yeah. genuine and all that kind of stuff. But it's not only that, it's not always only your intentions. Mm. It's also how you execute. Mm. Yeah. Did you get a lot of the genuine intention, look at the beginning, look at some small, but at the end of the day, you're going to be able to deliver. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Once you can do that, then, you know, because the, the first thing you have to do, the, the first thing that people see mm. is your execution. Exactly. Right? You need to talk about it, you need to talk about it. Uh, yeah. yeah. People see that, and then once you get to know the person, then apparently the guy's a dick. Uh. Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hello. The other day, the guy is also like genuine. We're in an interview. I'll then, call you later. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then you become friends, and then you become, and then you get co-signed, and you hang out, and like I said, okay, okay, this is a dope dude. That, that was Ronis, by the way. Our production. <laughs> I, was saying, I, I answered because I wanted to be on the on on the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so she could be. So she, she's always on her ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, oh, okay, hang up. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, so that for me, it's not easy. It's just, just got to be genuine, and you got to be able to execute. And from our experience, mm -hmm. actually, execution does not come without foundation. Yeah. Exactly. Like a lot of people want to start a brand. So many brands now here in Jakarta, and like all of a sudden, you know, they're just everyone does the graphics, the whatever they're trying to do. Exactly. I, I get it, but like, but there ain't no soul if you don't put the work into it. You exactly. know what I mean? And you got to put the grind. Like I'm yeah. sorry to say, like we took our time before we said it's we're ready to open a shop, right? It, seven years is a long time, yeah. you know, yeah. but we weren't ready. We did not feel like we were ready, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but now this shop is open to the world, mm. right? This store is going to be open to the world. Mm -hmm. Anybody that comes to Jakarta, mm. they have to visit Aegis Galaxy. It's like we want to make it a destination point, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, like this is, this, this was what, what was what we wanted, why we wanted it. Mm. And, and, and. The only way that was going to happen is if we did what we did in the past seven mm. years and made our connections and our co did the collaborations and spread that love, right? Mm. And that's what we wanted, you know. And uh, this is the platform where we're gonna, what we're gonna do and how we're gonna take it forward is all for that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you go to Amsterdam, you gotta go to Pata. Yeah. You have to, yeah. you know. You go to LA, you gotta go Fairfax. You yeah. gotta check out the hundreds, exactly. Supreme, whatever, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Jakarta, where do you go? Hmm. You're silent. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Now, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. We should have this type of community. Yeah. There should be more outside mall shops around, you mm -hmm. know, like, like take the leap forward, but build the foundation first mm. and then take the leap forward and open a store, make it small, compact. Yeah. And, and tell your story through yeah. that platform. Yeah. I think, I think it's, 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 it's it's doable right now. And that's why I said Jakarta is ready. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's Jakarta is ready for yeah. that. It's doable right now. Since, since, since this, this sucks here, the pandemic era, everybody wants to go like, like open air or something. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody afraid to go to the malls. Yeah. It's probably yeah. a game changer. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's is probably a and blessing in disguise. We don't know. Yeah. yeah. And, and okay, look, now of course you're here. We made sure this, like we're not letting public come in. So yeah. we're trusting who is coming in. Mm -hmm. But when we open, we're still going to practice measures. We're still going to probably keep maybe four people mm -hmm. per store, mm -hmm. you know, like four people come in. Mm -hmm the next four people can come in, mm. you know, like we're not going to like let this place be packed out or yeah. anything like that. Yeah. Still respect. Yeah. I know we're going through a pandemic, yeah. but we still have to respect and, and have sure. rules that we're yeah. going to be playing so that everybody just don't be a dick when you come into the shop. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Just be like, come in, make like vibe out, mm. spread some positive energy, mm. buy something. Mm. You know, if you don't want to buy anything, it's chill. Mm. Just come and have a good time, get yeah. to know us and you know, and who knows, the next event, you'll be there and we'll have a great time and we'll keep making, making new friends. You know? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Connection is one of the most key aspects yeah. in this, in this yeah. thing. Okay, so now to buat teman-teman ya, uh, intinya, uh, prove yourself, uh, kalau yang lagi bikin brand, uh, building a good product, pokoknya ya, uh, 
harus tetap konsisten ya karena itu yang membuktikan lo uh, berjalan dengan baik because I receive like so many t-shirts in a daily basis like, uh, like, every, oh, really? yeah, like everyone just I'm, hey, so, I'm sorry I only sent you one t-shirt <laughs> and you're always wearing the same t-shirt <laughs> I, I love this one I haven't worn it in the house yeah. like, like you know what I'm gonna give you another one t-shirt <laughs> alright <laughs> Yeah, like, maksudnya uh, gue bisa lihat bedanya gitu. Which one is soulful? Yeah. They put a lot of passion. Yang mana yang enggak yeah. gitu ya? And itu kelihatan di mata kita dan itu nyampe ke kita melalui produknya. So teman-teman kalau mau uh, uh, menjadi sesuatu yang sukses, menjadi 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 besar nantinya, put your passion 100% on what you do. Ya yeah, uh, harus jelas purpose-nya juga. Ya yeah, dan make sure lo melakukan itu uh, constantly. Uh, dengan begitu lo bisa membuktikan dulu bahwa you are worth in the industry gitu so anyway thank you guys for inviting me here thank you so yeah. much for coming what by what a special privilege uh, gua yang pertama loh by the way mendokumentasikan <laughs> ini semua ya yeah. uh, i'm looking forward to whatever happen in yeah. this in this place i believe you're going to launch some crazy shit yeah, yeah. I, I, then, I, i i hope so too i hope yeah, i'm looking forward to your another collaboration i'm i'm waiting yeah. Who knows? Like, kita tungguin aja. Excess Galaxy bakal ngapain aja. So, thank you again, guys. Thank you so much for your time. <laughs> this bomb, this bomb. Okay, guys. So, gitu aja. Kalau teman-teman mau cek Excess Galaxy, uh, bisa cek uh, social media Instagram di at aglxyco is our Instagram okay. and aglxy.com if you want to buy any products. You should buy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ada papa, ada wah macam-macam. Kalau kena sama Dalek di sebelah sini, yeah. yeah. You should and, check them. Out. And uh, come to the store. Yeah, come to the store when we open. We're planning on opening. When when is the yeah, official public yeah, opening? Probably like next week we're open, but we haven't we haven't got the idea. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can just knock on the door. We'll let you in, you know. Yeah. And uh, if yeah. you want to like take sneak peek or anything. Yeah. But aside from that, uh, follow our YouTube channel Woo-hoo! at yeah. Asia's Galaxy or at AJLXY Co as well. Like just look look for yeah. Asia's Galaxy on YouTube. I'm going to pull it the 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 this <laughs> scene, yeah. Oh yeah, that, that thing there. Yeah, okay. I've never done this before. Right <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah. Right there. Then, subscribe yeah. and leave a comment below. <laughs> Okay, so that. Thank you, thank you for watching. Gua Anugrahia Adityology. Okay, um, jangan lupa subscribe, jangan lupa nyalain loncengnya, so you know akan ada uh, video baru apa dari gua. Thank you, thank you so much, guys. That's it. Kita cabut. Stay safe. See you on the other episode. Bye.